I needed lots of coffee to stay awake. While watching Tunubu, I was highly disappointed. Professor Usman Yusuf, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Public policy analyst Professor Usman Yusuf appeared in an interview on the Rice Television yesterday where he gave his opinion on Tunubu's Chatham House media interview. According to the professor, he was highly disappointed with the interview Tunubu gave and needed lots of coffee to stay awake while watching Tunubu explain himself. In his own words, he said, and I quote, In his interview, I needed a lot of coffee to stay awake. I watched it, and to be honest with you, I was highly disappointed. And I've heard you get before on the show screaming and all that, and I had to take the panadol to get up here. The presidential candidate is auditioning for a job to a whole nation to 100 million Nigerians, and you are 90 million eligible voters. You were first talking to us when you hopped on a plane and went out there. To a diaspora that have no vote, people that have no vote. My disappointment is I see that I see that often with a lot of candidates, we're getting to a point where I see them with self esteem issues. Why do you have to go to America, Brussels, or UK to see who you are when your house is not in order? I don't understand what they are doing. What okay, why they do what they are doing? Well, my as you have said it, self esteem issues. And truly, wasn't this man talking not true? They're not supposed to be going out. Be you who are any candidates. Now we, now you go talk about. Now we, you go talk to. Now we, you go convince. Now we, they hear. We get to put a cast the vote for you at the end of the day. Right? Good. And so we get to listen to you. Hmm. It's okay. Why you are, why disappoint, why you are disappointed his followers or not? Arise TV and I feel... I poor obedient interviewers can never say anything good about Tunubu since he has refused to step down for his interest for Igbo presidency. <laughs> okay, his followers are mainly blinded by sentiments of religion, tribe, and momentary gratifications. Tell Tunubu that since he's afraid of a right television, he should go to NTA, Abio, because what he even said is actually very laughable and that they want to use him to make money. Imagine his show of shame at Chatham House. Anyway, I don't follow beyond progressive people though. Nigerians make a tell on then go they look and see in the whole of over 200 million Nigerians. In the whole of it, we could not find somebody who is capable, who is competent. All right. Don't we have a conventional way of doing things? We are just talking like illiterate or area boys and girls. I don't understand. Is this prof an IPOB or an obedient? What is wrong with us Nigerians and the mentality? Someone is airing his observation and you are here attacking people that did not talk. It is obvious to me now why people are being abused and insulted by the obedience. I understand they are giving people like you counter-attack. Nonsense. I don't understand. This is a professor from the North speaking, not an evil man, whom you perceive as an enemy. Oh, some people are going and they are insulting the man. Because it is to no <laughs> Not an evil man whom you perceived as an enemy. Tribalism and bigotry have eaten deeply into our brain. That you now reason like... <laughs> you are reason like this. I decide not to that Tunubu presently is not capable to lead this country. I'm telling you. Tunubu is looking for a job. And a job that he will take care of the resources of his country. That he is going to steer the will of his country to a place where... Things are happening. And then, all right, Tunubu is a big disgrace to Nigerians. He could not even answer questions directly to him as the presidential candidate. I beg now for these people who won't be, who won't be disgraced to. Eh? Stop trivializing the issue. It has nothing to do with Igbo or other ethnic group. We're talking of the future and fortune of Nigeria, a dear and only country, and you're here displaying ethnic bigotry. All right. We know the truth, but it had to speak. When I go here, I'm to remove finally smell that presidential, <laughs> presidential seat. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you believe this country to another for campaign, and you think it is right? I wonder what is wrong with you people. Tribalistic element, a flatterer like you, you are not ashamed of promoting a mentally direct candidate who cannot answer any question at Chatham House. Okay, I understand you've come to the end of the news. Oh, okay, okay. Now, the thing is, what this man is saying, let me go back to the news. 
Let me go back so that I'm going to be able to read for us word for word because I don't think a lot of people are following here. Look at what brought about all this uh, 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 comments. The first said, it's okay while you are disappointed, his flaws are not. Arise, TV and I, Pope, obedient interviewers, can never say anything good about Sunembu since he refused to step down for his interest in Ibu presidency, not knowing that the professor is actually a northerner. The professor said that he needed lots of coffee to stay awake. Meaning the thing was not lively, it was not dull, you know. Okon will back on. Then he said, the presidential candidate is auditioning for a job. And you people, if you people know very well, I've been, I've been using this scenario very as the queen of scenarios now. If you're auditioning for a job, you have to go for an interview. You have to tell people what you can do, what value you are bringing to the company. Do you understand? That is what you should do. You should come out and tell people, this is it and this is this. That is it. All right. Then he said... And 90 and 90 million, okay, and there are 90 million eligible voters. And you refuse talking to us, claiming that you don't want them to use you to make money. See that you don't hear that kind of thing before. Me, Bori, that you don't want them to use you to make money. Meanwhile, they fly you and they dropped you. <laughs> yes. You said? My disappointment, okay, you hopped on the planes and went out there to a desperate that have no vote, people that have no vote. As in, you went to an interview and you leave what you're supposed to go to talk another thing. All right. Then he said, my disappointment is, I see the, I see this often with a lot of candidates. We are going to a point, yes, come. I mean, we are going to a point where Okay, where we see them with self-esteem issues. Why do you have to go to America, Brussels, or why do you have to say who you are when your house is not in order? Exactly. So Nigeria, the ball is in our court. Now we go decide where we will keep this ball. Bo. Shall we continue like this? Are we going to continue like this as a people? Should we continue like this? Or All right. Okay. Then he said, why are you even going to be going there when, you know, when your house is not in order? Another point. So to me. All right. You cannot watch to procure analysis yourself while waiting for someone to tell you which way to go. He's a Nigerian, a political a is a Nigerian, a political analyst, evaluator candidate. That is his job. Habitually will not be candidate. And this is the job of Nigerians. Evaluate all candidates and come up with the best man for the job.